Yo, 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 what's happening? So the name of this video is, is, is titled Why Most Why Some Black People Don't Believe in Jesus. Now, the thing is, this is very dynamical. It's very it's a lot that goes with it, but I'm gonna just break down a few things. I'm I'm gonna speak from my experience and speak from the things that I see in my community and the things that I see in America. Now, first of all, if any if any black people have any doubt about Jesus, I'm going to tell you the truth what it is. A lot of it becomes on how we were raised in the culture of America. And what I mean by what I'm saying is, is that when you go to church, when you're at grandma house or, or anywhere, like let's say you're at church, and in a society, typically, what happens is, on the wall, you see, no offense, by the way, I am not racist in, in no way, uh, racist division, I don't believe in race, and God is not into uh, race either, because it is division, and it's not about race, it's about love, that's what it's really about, so before I go on, I just wanted to say that, but the reason why some black people may not have a true understanding or believe in Jesus the way that they should or could or defer from Christianity simply is because, and, and, and I want to say that Christianity is a religion. I'm non-religious. I'm spiritual. I am a follower of Christ, Yahshua, Hamashah. I am a follower of Jesus Christ. I believe that he is the son of God and I believe that he is my Messiah. I believe that he came to planet earth and died for my sins and your sins and the world, the whole wide world sins and that he rose on the third day and that he walked amongst the people and 500 people saw him as well as his disciples. And then after he handled his business, he descended back into heaven. I do believe that wholeheartedly with my soul with everything I believe that I'm never gonna get me to deny that now I will tell you in the past I did deny Jesus Christ and I'm gonna tell you why and I'm gonna tell you how and why some black people don't believe in Jesus Christ now it's this race thing it's this color thing in America where it's an automatic disconnect where for example if I look on the wall, bro, I'm a black man, bro. You know what I'm saying? You see my color? I'm, I, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's burnished bronze, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think if I look on the wall all my life and I see a white, <laughs> a white Jesus, to keep in mind, I'm not trying to create division, but I look on the wall, I see a white figure with, with blue eyes, blonde hair, pale skin. Okay, you might accept that when you're young and when you're growing up, but as you get older, there's a disconnect there. You start to be like, hold on, wait a minute, bro. Some ain't right about this. Some ain't right. What what why 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 is this man white? Why is he white? You know what I'm saying? And, and what that starts to create is confusion, animosity, uh uh resentment, and and, and and it starts to create a disconnect where where you 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 get to thinking where well, hold on bro this got to be a lie you know what i'm saying like why why we why we why we why we praising this this white this white god you know what i'm saying and and it creates division confusion resistance is what it starts to create so i'm saying this to say that A lot of people don't believe in Jesus Christ because it's being shoved down their throat all around the world and in America that he is a white man, that he was a white man. You know what I'm saying? Because I, like I said, I believe he descended into heaven. And if he is a color in heaven, he's black. Because God said that I made you in my image. The first man, the first woman was black. Now, we ain't talking about race. But I believe that he is, and if he is, he's not if. But I believe that 
since Jesus is in heaven, Yahshua is in heaven, he's he's a beam of light. I don't think I could be wrong, absolutely, but I don't think that he's a color. You know what I'm saying? I think that he's a beam of light. But if he's any color, he's definitely black. But 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 let, let me just move forward. What uh the whole thing and the resentment, the confusion, the resistance about Jesus Christ is that, see, a lot of us don't know that black people ruled the world at one point from, from Ethiopia, Nubia, Kemet, which was considered to be Egypt. So all these places, these people were the same color of me and they ruled the world. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no, it wasn't a white face in sight. You understand what I'm saying to you? It wasn't no white faces in sight in the be, in, in the beginning of time. You know what I mean? Adam and Eve was black. Cain and Abel was black. Noah was black. Enoch was black. These people were black, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, only a fool will argue with me. You know what I'm saying? You have to know your demographical history in order to even catch up and understand what i'm saying so but what i'm saying is this resentment against jesus christ and yashua starts from racism and it starts from slavery where where you know the history of black people being kidnapped and brought over to uh america right so so what they wanted to do was bring you mentally brainwash you to make you think that white is superior and black is inferior and the only way to do that is to give you a white god give you a white jesus so if i give you a white jesus and i say that god is white and jesus is white that makes me uh, uh superior over you off tops that's just what it is but once you start to understand the, the tricks and the trades of the enemy, which is division, and that's all racism is. When I look at you, I shouldn't see color. I should see a human being. I should see love. I shouldn't see color. And God is love. He's not division. He doesn't, he doesn't, he's, he's not about hate. He's not about division. He's not about race. He's about love, the heart. You know what I'm saying? So, all I'm saying is, if you're black and you don't believe in Jesus, I can almost guarantee a large part of that came from them feeding you a white Jesus. And I would encourage you to do your best by doing your research on who you are as a, as a person and where you come from. And if you do your thorough research, I also want you to do your research on Yakub, the big head scientist. He's the guy that started race. He started uh, uh, light, light, light complected black people, brown, brown skinned black people. He started uh, albino people, white people. Now you look at like, what is he talking about? Well, go and do your research on Yakub, the big head scientist. And that will allow you to understand where race comes from. So I'm saying that to say that the Bible speaks about, the Holy Bible speaks about Revelation 1, 14 through 15. His head and his hair were white, like white wool, like snow. And his eyes were like a flame of fire. His feet were like burnished bronze. I want you to hear what I just said. His feet were like burnished bronze. When it has been made to glow in a furnace. Let me repeat that. His feet were like burnished bronze. Do you know what color burnished bronze is? If you don't, I'm about to show you. When it, when it has been made to glow in a furnace. And his voice was like the sound of many waters. Let me show you the color of a burnished bronze. <laughs> Look at that, boy. People will argue with you today, especially uneducated Caucasian people would say that Jesus Christ was a white man. 
if you say that Jesus Christ was a white man, you are highly uneducated about demographics. And plus, that means that you are calling the Bible a lie and you are truly not a follower of Christ if you're calling the Holy Bible a lie. Look at the color of burnished burnish bronze. Look at that. That is the color of burnished bronze. It's actually darker than me, buddy. So look at this. This is another color of burnished bronze, buddy. So, so, so. Oh, there's another color of burnished bronze. Oh, my gosh. So what I have did was just broke it. I just broke that race division, that discrimination. So I have given you your power back as a black individual. And I have given you your power back as a human being. It's not about race. If, you, if you're white, if you're Chinese, if you're Japanese, if you're Spanish... You were once the same color as me. Race comes from Yakut, the big head scientist. Do your research on that. Jesus Christ, Yahshua, was never a white man. He was a black man. So everybody that feel a disconnect from Jesus Christ, one of the reasons why you may feel a disconnect from Jesus Christ if you're in a black community is because they've been selling you that he's white. And I just proved to you from the Bible scripture and from from historical facts that Jesus Christ was not a Caucasian. He was the same color as as me or maybe even a little bit darker. So also beyond the race thing, let's move away from that. I do want to say that if you are not a believer in Jesus Christ, Yahshua, that I would encourage you to Find somewhere in your heart to have way to to let God come into your heart, to let Jesus come into your heart and do your best to believe in him and accept him as your Lord and Savior and believe that he died and rose on the third day and walks amongst the people after he died to prove that he was alive and 500 people saw him and that he ascended into heaven. If you believe that, you are saved. So let's stop the division. Let's stop racism, you know, because racism doesn't matter. What matters is love. So when you see a white Jesus on the wall, know that that is a lie. You understand what I'm saying? It's not about race. It's about love. So I just broke that thing about everybody thinking Jesus is white. So now you have no excuse anymore. I hope that you Get saved and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior.